Now the first thing you might be thinking when you're seeing this video is, holy shit that footage looks grainy. That's because we're running at a 480p resolution in widescreen. The reason for that is the X1600 just simply struggles at any resolution above this. Now we are running at widescreen and we could switch to a standard 4x3 and get rid of a few pixels on the sides and our FPS will probably boost up a little bit. Now what's funny is even in 720p mode there are some areas where we get above 30 frames per second and the frame rate is a little consistent. But the most stable performance is of course going to be at a lower resolution. The X1600 just simply lacks performance to run this game at a decent resolution like 720p or above and as we know already at 480p we still have issues. Now if we could get rid of the global shadows in the game that would probably give us a major boost in outdoor areas however of course in these indoor areas where we don't have global shadowing is mostly in my opinion probably a case of just such good model density uh, there's just too many polygons on screen for this X1600 to handle it. But it's still impressive to see this game run on a 10 year old well actually 11 year old video card now CSGO was released mid-2012, at that point the X1600 was already a 6.5 year old video card. And while Source games are all known to be quite efficient performers and make really good use of the hardware that they're being ran on, the problem is this is a game that was really designed around the performance of the consoles of the time, the Xbox 360, Playstation 3, and more mainstream PCs that people had in 2012. And as such was a major visual upgrade from Counter-Strike Source. Regardless of what platform you play it on, smooth performance is absolutely critical to gameplay. And if you don't have smooth performance, it makes it very difficult to aim and get those very critical headshots, especially in such a twitch-heavy game as Counter-Strike. In terms of actual performance that could be extracted from an X1600 versus the Xbox 360's Xenos GPU, the X1600 is probably about a quarter as powerful. The X1600 is a pre-unified shader GPU, that is, it has dedicated vertex and pixel shaders, but also only has four texture mapping units and only four ROPs. Versus the Xenos, where it has a full-on 240 stream processors, or well, equivalent of, to handle pixel and geometry and vertex shading, it also has 16 TMUs and 8 ROPs. So, in total practice, like I said, the X1600 is about a quarter as powerful. And in all my experience in testing the X1600, I can definitely say that is about true. If you happen to be stuck with an X1600 as the best GPU you have available, don't even bother with CSGO, just stick with Counter-Strike Source. Though you could go out and buy a really crappy but cheap GPU that's still going to outperform this X1600 by quite a bit, as long as it's not more than 7 or 8 years old. Now ironically the 720p performance is actually not as bad as you'd expect, but considering everything else and we're still running at minimum settings, 720p is an absolute no-go. But it still kind of boggles the mind that we can play this game on this GPU at minimum settings 480p and still get a almost somewhat playable experience. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. My name is Blitzvogel, thanks for watching, y'all have a good one.